Measles is popping up in the news again, thanks to some unfortunate guidance from Florida Surgeon General. Measles in the United States is the topic of this week's healthcare triage. In February 2024, a health advisory was issued by the Florida Department of Health in Broward County to warn the public about several confirmed cases of measles at a local elementary school. While the typical recommendation for unvaccinated children is to isolate for 21 days following exposure to measles, Florida Surgeon General sent a letter to parents essentially saying it was up to them if they sent their children to school, but they should keep them home if they had symptoms. Measles is really contagious and can easily spread in pockets of unvaccinated people. The virus can live for up to two hours in the air, meaning an infected person can cough, leave the room, and someone else can enter 90 minutes later and get infected. Up to 90% of non-immunized people close to a contagious person will end up becoming infected. So, unsurprisingly, there was a lot of backlash to that message, and the whole situation has received a lot of media attention. It got us thinking about the state of the measles virus here in the United States, where the virus was declared eliminated in the year 2000. We'd like to note here that eliminated means the continuous transmission of cases was no longer occurring in the United States as of the year 2000. Cases are still brought in by travelers from other parts of the world and can then easily spread among unvaccinated individuals. Eight years after elimination, 134 cases of measles, the majority of which occurred in unvaccinated individuals, were reported in the United States. The most cases seen since 1996. 11 years after elimination, that number landed at 220. 14 years later, in 2014, it was 644 cases. The number doesn't continuously rise each year. Some years see big outbreaks, and then the numbers fall in the next year as outbreaks are contained. What does seem to be growing is the number of unvaccinated individuals, which will eventually bear out in the number of cases being reported each year. The vaccination rate in a given community should remain around 95% or above if the goal is to maintain herd immunity against measles. And that is indeed the goal. During the 2022-2023 school year, the U.S. vaccination rate for MMR, the combined vaccine that includes the measles vaccination, was 93.1%. While some U.S. states are hitting the 95% mark nicely, it's only about 13 of them, and a handful of others are pretty dismal. Looking at you, Colorado, Wisconsin, Hawaii, Alaska, and Idaho. And Florida isn't an isolated case of a current measles outbreak. For example, there were a total of nine confirmed measles cases, at least five in children, in Philadelphia as of January 17, 2024. In Washington state, there were six identified cases among unvaccinated adults as of January 10, 2024. While many people can recover from measles just fine, the virus poses a serious threat to lots of people and was estimated to cause around 136,000 deaths globally in 2022, with most of those deaths occurring among small children. Other vulnerable groups include pregnant women, the elderly, and people with compromised immune systems due to things like chemotherapy and illness. I've said it a hundred times and I'll keep on saying it. Vaccines are a victim of their own success. The measles vaccine has worked so well that we're at a point where no one remembers the devastation it used to cause. We're starting to let our guards down. We're taking measles and other diseases less seriously. This leads to blowing off the vaccine because it doesn't seem all that important, or worse, giving in to tides of misinformation about vaccines being dangerous. There's a price to pay for all this, and the most vulnerable among us will end up with most of the tab if we keep going down this road. We've got enough scary things to worry about in the world. Let's not bring back the scary things we've already defeated. Hey, did you enjoy this video? You might enjoy this other video on how measles infections can wipe out immunity to other diseases. We'd appreciate it if you'd like the video. Subscribe to the channel down below. Go on over to patreon.com slash healthcare triage where you can help support the show, make it bigger and better. We'd especially like to thank our research associates, Joe Sevitz and Edward Lillehome, and of course, our surgeon admiral, Sam.